بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In today's treasures of the Quran we're going to be talking about ayah 124 from Surah Taha أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ومن أعرض عن ذكري فإن له معيشة ضنكا the rough English translation for this ayah is, but whoever turns away from my reminder will certainly have a miserable life. Now, in his tafsir for this ayah, Ibn Kathir explains that whoever opposes Allah's command and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed to the Prophet وسلم, has basically turned away from Allah's guidance. They've neglected Allah's guidance and they've taken their guidance from other places. Now, what happens to this type of person who does something like this? So for this type of person, life is going to be hard. She won't really have tranquility or ease in her life. Even if outwardly it seems like she's living a pretty comfortable life, you know, like she can wear whatever she wants, she can eat whatever she wants, she can travel wherever she wants, she actually won't have that peace and tranquility and guidance within her heart. Instead, she's going to be feeling agitated and she's going to be feeling doubt and she might even be in a state of confusion and uncertainty all the time. Now, what are some lessons that we can learn as versatile Muslimas from this ayah and also from its explanation? So, my dear sister, you as a versatile Muslimah, I'm sure you have many roles in your life you're either a daughter, a sister, a friend, a wife, a mother, a student, an employee, a da'ya, a community leader, and the list goes on and on. And within each of these roles in your life, you're going to face choices. You're going to face choices to either follow what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has asked you to do or you're gonna maybe want to follow what your society wants you to do or what your parents want you to do or what your friends want you to do and in all of these situations you always want to make sure that you choose what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to do that's how you're gonna gain happiness true happiness and true contentment and true peace in your life so when your parents don't want you to wear hijab, I want you to hold on tightly to that hijab because that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to do. When your siblings think it's cool for you or it's funny that you disrespect your parents and you give them attitude, you should treat your parents with love and respect and kindness because that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to do. When your friends think that it's funny when you see a homeless person on the street who maybe doesn't smell so good or they don't have the best clothes you should be that person who treats that homeless person with respect and kindness and generosity his guidance is gonna guide you to what's best for you even if you don't see it in that moment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has full and complete knowledge of everything the guidance we have from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is actually a divine recipe for a happy and successful life on planet Earth. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And also donate at i3institute.ca backslash donate. So that way our team can continue to create great content for you.